What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in this video I want to talk about uh, what to do if you have back issues when doing uh, BJJ. Alright, so BJJ is for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, if you guys are on this channel, most likely you, uh, you, you, you know what BJJ stands for. Anyways, uh, before I get started, take a second to uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me grow. And of course, I appreciate it a lot. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I saw this comment in um, in a Facebook uh, group that I'm part of, right? And uh, somebody was uh, saying how you know they're starting to have back problems because they, uh, they they practice BJJ and they play a lot of guard, right? So guard meaning from the bottom, you know. Uh, you guys know, anyways. So. <clears throat> I, I used to practice BJJ for about six years and now it's been about two years and a half that I transitioned over to Judo and even though uh, I do Judo now and my posture's gotten better because I'm less on the ground, I still do a lot of uh, 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 Newaza. I, I still do a lot of groundwork but uh, mostly you know I do Judo standing. Tachiwaza. So anyways um, and so I had this problem when I when I back in the days when I was doing just pure BJJ all the time. And um, yeah, man, the thing is, okay, your spine, uh, if, if, you're, if you're playing guard, what happens is that, you know, people are trying to pass your guard. So what they're gonna do is obviously grab your legs, fold you in half, and your, your, your spine is being like uh, flexed, you know? And, you know, your, 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 your spine being flexed um, that way to, to extremes and with a lot of weight and, you know, you're trying to move and, and you're twisting and turning. So it's bound to happen. Uh, I think a lot of guys who play a lot of guard uh, or who do BJJ for a long time have back issues. So this is how I think you should approach it, okay? If, uh, there's three things, okay? So if, you, if you're starting to have back problems, you gotta back off playing guard. You gotta try to maybe play, um, I would say half guard, okay? So you're more on your side. But even then, you know, like if they're, 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 they're grabbing your legs and, and they're throwing you around and they're crushing you and they're smashing and to pass and all that, I would say, you know, ideally you try to play more top game, okay? So if you're on the top and, you know, you could talk to your, uh, just, just for a little while, just concentrate on, on the top game. So you talk to your partner and you tell them, listen, I got, my back's not feeling good. Can you let me play top, man, you know? And if, if you flip me over, then, you know, we could just reset because my, my back's not uh, doing too well. So that way you could continue practicing, okay? And then the other thing that you have to take care of, what people don't realize is that your back is it's constantly taking a goddamn beating when you're practicing BJJ, especially if you're doing a lot of guard, spider guard, whatever kind of guard, you know? Uh, so what you have to do is that you have to condition your back the posterior chain, okay? So, like you have to do, what people don't realize is that you actually have to do, I would say, three times more, you have to work out three times more uh, your, your posterior chain, meaning your back and your legs and your core, okay? Then your front, meaning your, 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 your chest and you know, your arms and all that. Well, arms is good, but I mean the front. So you really have to put a, a big emphasis on, on training your back, okay? all of it, like upper back, uh, lower back, mid back, you know, everything. And of course, you wanna get your glutes strong too and, and your hams and your legs because it's all, it's all connected, right? But you really wanna get that, uh, uh, your back really strong. And then uh, you have to get, you know, obviously it takes time, it takes effort, but it's really worth it if you're gonna be, be doing BJJ for a long time. Because if you don't do that, at one point, you know, it's just, it, things don't get better by itself. It's just gonna get worse. So, for, and another thing that you can do, and what I suggest is that you have to, most people spend a lot of time uh, sitting down, you know, at work, in their car, at home, and stuff like that. And, you know, their, their posture is very rounded, right? We're, we're, we're like this a lot. So you gotta fix your posture. And so you have to learn how to organize your spine, stand up straight, you know, and one thing that helps a lot is, you know, going to the gym and doing like a fuck ton of exercises to get to strengthen your back. Because if you strengthen your back, right, all the muscles there will be stronger, so they'll pull your back, they'll pull your, 
your, your posture back like this, so you have better posture. And also you have to be aware uh, of how you're sitting and, and how your posture is ideally at all times. And you gotta, you know, you gotta be conscious of that and make adjustments so that uh, you walk straight, you don't have your head sticking out like this. Um, you know, and, and um, you're standing upright, you know, and your chest out, and, and so on. So those are the three things that I would recommend if you're, if you're starting to have back problems. So you should back off a little bit, try to play more top game, okay, that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing I would say is really get, uh, get yourself a trainer, uh, or, or you know, if you already know how to, whatever, just do, do a lot, a lot of exercises for your, your posterior chain. You know, it's gonna help because when you, like you have to condition. If you don't condition, you're not gonna last, man. It's gonna, shit's gonna break down. And, um, and then after that, well, you gotta fix your posture, okay? So I'll put a link down below to this book that, I'm, uh, that I read and that I keep rereading because I, you know, it's, it's such a great book. It's called The Supple Leopard. And it's all about organizing your spine, um, how to brace and everything and, and all that. And it, it's, it's, it gives a, it's great because once you read this book, you realize, wow, posture is so important in everything we do, you know, that, um, and then he shows you how to fix it and everything. So it's a great book. I'll put a link down below. So if you fix your posture, uh, you give yourself a little break, play top game, and you do a lot, a lot. Uh, I would say three, uh, three times more the back, working out the back than the front. You do a lot of conditioning, resistance training for your back some anti-rotational stuff too, you know, because we, we tend to rotate and twist a lot and uh, your spine is, is not meant to do um, two things at the same time. So if you twist and bend at the same time, that's when it gets fucked up, you know? And of course, if you keep on bending and bending and bending to extremes or twisting and twisting to extremes, you're gonna, you're gonna ruin your back. So really, like you gotta, those three things, I think that will definitely help and of course, um, you know, the more you train, like it's, it's uh, everything affects everything. So of course, uh, how to recover uh, properly, you know, by eating better, sleeping well, keeping the stress levels down and stuff like that. But that's, I think I made a video about that, but I'll make, maybe I'll make another one or it's for another video. But okay, I'm kind of like rambling on here, but let's, let's just summarize the three things, okay? So take a break, play more top game, talk to your partner, okay? Uh, then I would say hit a gym, you know, hit the gym and, and work on your back and your legs a lot, a lot, and your core too, you know. And then after that, uh, like, like be, be, uh, be mindful of your posture at all times. And those three things there I think will help. And uh, so that's it. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It helps me out a lot. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.